Hi everyone, this video is going to be about web form in ERP Next. So web form is present in the website module and the use of web form is to provide a web interface to stakeholders or to user who we do not need to give them an access to the desk. So let's say we have a student applicant like I'll go to the web form list and we have a student applicant web form over here. So I'll see on website. So students will obviously not be accessing the ERP Next desk and they won't be like going into the education module and filling the form, no. So they'll directly have the access to the, the website and from here they'll be filling all these details and we'll be getting these details in the system, all right? So that is the use of web form. Like if we don't want to provide access to the desk, then we allow users to have this web view of the doc type. All right, so we'll create a new web form now. So what I'll do is in HR module, we have a leave application web form. So let's say that I don't want employee to access the desk. I want them to apply for leave from the website. So how will we achieve that? Now we'll go into the website module and we'll go to the web form and I'll create new web form. And let's name this web form as leave application. And the route will be automatically created based on the title and we'll select the doc type for which we want to create. All right, this is the leave application and we'll select the module, it's HR module. Okay, and if I select published, then this will be published on the web page, obviously. And then we have a login required. So what it means is that only those who have logged in to the website will be getting an access to this web form. But let's say I want everyone to have an access to this leave application. And what is this apply document permission? So it will apply the role. So we know that each doc type have a role associated with it. So if I select on this, then all those roles will be applied over here also. And this will allow print and allow user to print the document. So if they want in a particular print format then they can print it and we can also allow incomplete form so it will be like over here it's written that allow saving if mandatory fields are not filled so some form have a mandatory fields we we know that right in doc type if we don't fill it and if we try to submit it then we get this prompt that fill all the details so that's what it's about if we want to allow incomplete form then we can check on this and what else do we have all right, this, this part is complete. Now let's go to the introduction. So introduction is just, um, just a description about this particular web form. So right now, let's ignore this part. And we have fields. So one option to get all the fields is through this button, get fields. So if I ch click on this, I'll be getting all the fields. All right, so they see all of these are the fields. And let's say I don't want all these details to be there. So let me save it first. Now let's say I don't want all of this to be there. Let's see on the website first. Now this is how the form is looking on the website. So let's say I don't want leave approver, I don't want company and this letterhead part because I mean only employee name and then from date to date and the reason of the leave, th this is what I want. So what you can do is you can remove some of the section. So let's remove this, remove letterhead, remove company also. And we will remove salary slip and we will remove what else is there. Let's remove employee. No, let that let it be. What else do we have? Leave approver, we have status. All right. No let's keep the status oh did I not delete it okay all this have been deleted and let's save it and I'll refresh this web form so this is how it looks now we have we don't have company now anymore and we also removed other sections so that is not there all right, so that this is how you can add all the fields in the web form. And if you want to add another row, you can add, add it too. Now next is maximum attachment. So now right now we don't have any attachment field over here. 
so this doesn't need to be filled but let's say if it was like uh, for job application we have a resume field right so for that we can add this maximum attachment and this is a script that we can add um, suppose if we want like uh, validation to be done for this form each form then we can add and if you want some fields to autofill then we can add this client script and we have custom CSS so custom CSS is obviously to add a style to the form and we have an action so all right let's let's just fill one of the form so let's select this let's select the leaf type I'll select leave without pay and okay over here we have this employee code so based on the employee who will know that what is their employee number so let's say employee number of my employee number is 12 right and and one more thing the employee name is not being fetched so what we'll have to do is we'll have to write a client script for that or I'll have to see what it what it has to be done but for now let's remove employee name from this because it's not being fetched automatically right now delete and save and refresh okay now let's fill it again this is the series and leave without pay and employee number 12 from date let's say I want to leave from 21 to 23 and reason you can mention and you can also mention if you're going to take a half day and you'll add a leave approver so you'll get all the leave approvers list over here so let's say I'll select this as a leave approver and this will be the status obviously the status will be open so all right so email has been sent to the leave approver now and the information has been submitted so what we'll do is we'll check it in the system duplicate and I'll go to HR so in HR I'll go to leave application and we okay so we got this leave the this is now this is created right now so the status of the leave is draft only once this leave has been approved we'll be getting the status will change also it's, ad it's advisable to remove the status field from all right so okay now after filling the after once I have submitted the web form I mean this leave application you see that it has redirected to me to another web form only so if you want to change the route like after save where do you want it to go so you can add another route also okay so if you want to add a home page then you can add a home as a route and this is the sidebar settings so over here we see that there's nothing present over here so if we want we can add another doc type that can be added into the sidebar so this is what it is so let's say I add student applicant just to show you and we have the route and let's select the reference document so student applicant all right let's save it and see if it works okay you'll have to add a route student okay I'll now refresh it and we should be seeing this in the sidebar okay it's not here let me see have I enabled yeah you have to click on show sidebar all right so we have the student applicant over here it's just for the example I have used it so if you want to add any other link or route over here you can add it and we can also do payment with this leave application and we have some advance over here that is a breadcrumbs that um, depending upon the route like if leave application is in small small case then that will be redirected to this page only that's what breadcrumb is about so I hope you understood about the leave application and if you have any doubt to mention them in the comment box we'll answer it and thank you so much for watching bye